Get ready to see the sights of Cuba like never before. Here from the St. Petersburg Museum of History to tell us about a new exhibit from award winning photographer Clyde Butcher is Rui Farias, the executive director of the museum. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Good. I'm excited to hear about the ex uh, exhibit. Excited to see what's coming to the Bay Area, which is really, really unique for people to get this inside look of Cuba. This is a big deal. This is a pretty big deal. And it's it's a look at Cuba that most Americans have never seen. I mean, you know, for the last 50 years, we see, you know, the 57 Chevys and those type mm -hmm. of photographs. But this is the, the countryside of Cuba that Americans have yeah, long forgotten. Yeah, let's be pretty exists. honest. It's pretty controlled what we can see in Cuba. This is true. And Clyde Butcher, if you're going to have anybody go in and take sights of Cuba, you know, this is the man to do it. Talk yes. about Clyde Butcher and kind of what his specialty is and what he brings to the table. He's by far uh, America's, at this time, America's greatest landscape photographer. I mean, he's the Ansel Adams I of our agree. day. And he, it, the photography that he has shot of the Everglades in Florida and other regions of the country is just amazing. Mm -hmm. And the Cuba exhibit, it just tops it all. Well, and what's really cool, I've had a, a chance to meet Clyde Butcher several times, interview him uh, over the years, and to see the process of how he takes these, mm -hmm. um, I mean, this is not the digital age of photography, no. what he's doing. He has that capability, he can, but he chooses to do it the old school way, and this is why, because you get, uh, you know, photographs like this, like you're seeing. Amazing photographs, and uh, there are photos of him actually in the exhibit, mm -hmm. in the back of pickup trucks, carrying, lugging around all that equipment that he took through Cuba when he went on these three separate trips to Cuba. And I mean, I know that he's been toying with the digital age, yeah. but he's he is just a premier film photographer. He really is. So what when you go to the exhibit, how is it set up? What can people expect when they go? How many pieces? I don't know if you have the exact number, but I know it's quite a bit that they have. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it started off uh, about a year ago. We were looking at, at a, a Clyde Butcher's stuff to bring to the Museum of History. And we saw this cube exhibit. We're like, ah, no one's ever seen this around here before. And these are incredibly beautiful photographs of a forbidden island <laughs> to us, you know, that, that we that most Americans have never traveled through this part of Cuba. So we, we decided to, to showcase this Cuba exhibit and it just grew from there. The exhibit actually is called Experience Cuba, the, the beauty, mm -hmm. cultural and history uh, of the island. And along with Clyde's 26 massive, beautiful black and white photographs, we have three pieces on loan of contemporary Cuban artists oh, cool. from USF's Contemporary Art Museum. And then one of my favorite parts of the, the exhibit actually is we, we reached out to the community, to the folks who have been to Cuba recently, oh, and we cool. asked them to submit their photographs of Cuba. So we're doing this huge video wall. I mean, we received hundreds of images that people sent us. We picked about 24 that we printed in large prints, and the rest were just rotating digitally on monitors because there were so many amazing photographs. And I know there's always kind of been a fascination where people were wanting to learn more about Cuba. I mean, obviously, right. so much of it is roped off where we can't go, but um, this is a great way to kind of see, again, parts that we're not going to be able to see any other way. No, exactly. And there's one photograph he has, for instance, that shows a cross at the same spot where Christopher Columbus, you know, in the 15th century, yeah. planted the first cross when he landed in Cuba for the first time. And I've never seen that in my life, you yep. know. And it, some of these photographs are, like I said, just tell a complete different story of Cuba from what we're used to hearing. Well, as we close up, tell people how they can, when does the exhibit start? How long do they have to see it? What are the kind of details? What else can they do at the museum while they're there? <laughs> well, we, we've been around for 94 yeah. years, so we've been around a long time. And we, we, we tell the history of St. Petersburg and Pinellas County and Florida. Um, while they're there, they can visit a 3,000 year old mm -hmm. Egyptian mummy who we have in the cool. museum as well. Um, the exhibit opens, uh, Cuba Experience opens Thursday the 16th and it runs through September 30th. Um, all right, so a couple of weeks to get in there. And, oh yeah, uh, absolutely. Definitely we'll worth open the time all summer. to go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here this morning. Glad we got to show some of his work. And again, I've uh, had a chance to meet him and see his work up close, and it is phenomenal. So I can only imagine what his Cuba stuff is. So Don't thank you so it. much for being here. Thank yep, you. we will be there. And again, Experience Cuba Photographs Clyde Butcher opens tomorrow at the St. Petersburg Museum of History and runs through September 30th, as we said. For more information, you can go to their website, spmoh.org.